minutes. Uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's end of day trading session, the 27th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signal the market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's see, see exactly uh, how these uh, markets closed. Uh, in terms of European markets, we certainly bounced off the uh, pivot lows given the fact that we had stronger German IFO data, that certainly helped. Uh, although uh, Europe certainly is uh, still finishing negative, the FTSE down uh, 40 points, uh, minus 0.6% of 7290 zone. Uh, the German DAX down 68, minus 0.5% at the 12,000. And CAC 40 certainly uh, finishing more or less flat. Now, the CAC 40 has been very, very impressive as of late, even given the fact that we have the uncertainty surrounding Le Pen. Whether or not the Dutch elections certainly are helping the uh, the argument that uh, Miss Le Pen will certainly not um, go ahead and win the vote, given the fact that they, uh, they fail miserably there, Mr. Wilder and his radical extreme foot party. Now, in terms of the uh, markets, obviously the recurring theme or the old most dominant, predominant theme today was uh, the Trump trade failure, okay, the reflation trade going backwards, a lack of faith in the reflation trade, given the fact that. Uh, uh, Mr. Trump has been defeated on his health care bill. So, again, uh, investors losing, uh, uh, should we say, trust in the uh, Trump trade uh, and certainly uh, selling en masse. Now, we also had uh, concerns, obviously, in Asia. Asia markets down overnight as well. Uh, we had um, Le Pen, certainly Le Pen gaining in the uh, in the polls as well. Certainly a negative factor there as well. Greece concerns with regards to whether or not they could pay their debt. And really, the only real bullish news story of the day was the German IFO data certainly beating. Now, we have had oil bounce off the 47 level. That certainly helped equities to a large extent. Now, whether or not the individuals or U.S. equities or individuals are buying U.S. equities on the back of uh, BTFD, by the F in D, uh, dip, shall we say. Okay, so again, uh, we don't know, okay, whether or not they are actually dip buying or not. That's a different question altogether. We have had the USD JPY certainly hold that double bottom. So again, that's certainly helping sentiment to a large extent with the yen certainly moving lower and helping the Nikkei move higher, which in turn helps US equities. Okay, let's look at the technical picture now. Let's go to the German DAX first and foremost. Okay, German DAX at the moment, really it's still an inside bar, so consolidating within that green candle. The pattern that we should really all be focusing on and um, something that I've highlighted already is this potential for H&S formation with the right shoulder obviously going in here looking to flush so again let's just take that with a pinch of salt the stronger german ifo data today certainly helping the uh, the actual growth story and therefore helping the german dax remain afloat based purely on obviously stronger growth 60 minute chart at the moment yes we went below we closed the gap at around the 11 800 zone we actually put in a bottoming tail today we have resistance at 12080 so let's see if we can certainly hold that for now using our diagonal trend line we can certainly draw a diagonal trend line it's not really being respected so let's just leave that for now okay so again it's all about unfill gap at 12060 okay on the uh, upside uh, currently we did actually pierce 12,000 you do have resistance at 12010 so watch out for 12010 as resistance okay in terms of the uh, the market's next potential move Let's move on to the French CAC now. French CAC certainly into gap fill resistance and diagonal trend line resistance. So the French CAC certainly indicating resistance and uh, indicating risk aversion. Okay, we did actually gap lower down to 4970. We reversed the whole move, which has been very, very impressive to say the least. The French CAC certainly not uh, moving lower at all or not reacting negatively at all to US equities moving lower. So again, interesting, interesting scenario there. Okay, certainly a very interesting scenario. 60 minute chart you can see we have this key diagonal trend line to lower lows and lower highs on this on this occasion we, we failed to make a, a lower low okay we, we failed to even test that a previous low at 4960 so certainly a bullish um, move here on the french cac so very very impressive keep an eye on the french cac in terms of the next potential move on the horizon okay now in terms of the FTSE 100 let's just bring up the FTSE for you Okay, daily chart, the FTSE 100, you can see the whole holding support here at 7260. Daily chart certainly held that bottoming tail again, once again, certainly holding, okay? Now, bear in mind, you do have still have a HNS as well, very similar to the German DAX. Okay, so whether or not we're playing this out is a different story altogether. Whether or not we've already played it out is a different story as well. You have this uh, potential right shoulder playing out as well. So certainly all... 
various scenarios here for the FTSE itself, but the daily chart certainly has to be respected with regards to the uh, the bottom and tail here. Okay, certainly needs to be respected. Okay, now 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100. Again, you still have the bear flag scenario. Having said that, that is this level here at 7260 is key. Very, very important if that breaks on 7240 and then you're looking at 7200 on the downside. So certainly take that into consideration as well. You have bear flag for the scenario, so consolidating within the green candle or red candle, shall we say. Previous support equals resistance at 7306, so certainly it's expected to remain below. 10 minute chart on the FTSE 7290 is really is your resistance zone, then previous support equals resistance at 7306. So they are two zones that you certainly will be oscillating between from my perspective and certainly looking to uh, potentially move lower. So bear that in mind, okay, in terms of the uh, next move in the markets, okay. Looking at the euro stocks, let's just quickly bring this up now as well. Daily chart, euro stocks certainly uh, uh, holding off that on, in terms of that bottoming tail, certainly bouncing from that key day, uh, gap for the support. Very, very impressive thrust there. 60 minute chart at the moment, really, it's still all about this HNS formation. You've got the red shoulder, left shoulder there, you've got the head that's been put in. Obviously, we're putting in this potential right shoulder now, certainly has held 375% and lower. Okay, you can see 375%. And now looking to potentially flush and move lower. Now, we did actually negate today this morning's red candle, which is really promising for the bulls. So, again, certainly take that into consideration. Okay, and looking to potentially test this 200 MA below. Looking at this zone here at uh, 3397, then you have support at 3390. Okay, on the downside. So, again, let's see if we can hold that 575%. If we can, then the, uh, the bears certainly are in uh, control here, okay? Otherwise, if we fail to do so, the bulls certainly gain the upper hand. Okay, so that certainly seems to be the picture. Just looking at this area, FTSE 250 as well, still holding that previous resistance equals support zone. So again, we'll see how long we can hold that. But the um, very similar picture here as well, you've got the left shoulder obviously brewing now, you've got the head that's already gone in, you're looking at that right shoulder which you've put in and then obviously looking to flush lower. So given the trunk trade failure, certainly looking for risk aversion to uh, remain the dominant theme and looking for the equity markets to potentially move lower. So bear that in mind, okay? Right, uh, okay, uh, Euro USD as well whilst we're here, it certainly is holding that uh, key resistance on the daily chart. Holding that 200 MA as well on the uh, daily chart. So very, very impressive move there and an impressive thrust as well. Okay, so I think that's a good summation for now. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonds. Goodbye.